Okay, let's check a video zero versus undefined. So what's the difference between them? That's very common in the slope formula where you have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, the rise over run. So when you have a rise over run, rise is the change in y and run the change in x. So let's suppose we get zero over four. So in this case, when the zero is in the numerator, the answer will be zero. And when the zero is in the denominator, the answer would be undefined. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Let's suppose we have zero of something. Let's suppose zero candies. And you wanna divide it by four kids. How many candies do you give each kid if you have zero? You cannot give anything. So what you give to each one is zero, okay? So whatever quantities you are dividing, if you don't have anything, you cannot share in equal parts or you cannot divide it because you don't have anything to divide, right? If you have, let's suppose, one rectangle, you can divide it into two pieces. So that will be one half and one half. You divide it, right? One divided by two. But if you don't have anything, you cannot divide it into any part. So that's why it's equal to zero. Okay, let's talk this now, go and talk about undefined. Then I'm gonna give you an example in the graph. So when we have zero in the denominator, basically you cannot, if you have five of an item divided by zero, so how, how much would you give to non part or to no one? It, it, zero. Now, let me put it in a different way. Let's you have a zero times m it's equal to zero so that means that if m is equal to zero times two it's equal to zero if m is equal to three zero times three it's equal to zero if m is equal 27 zero times 27 is equal to zero so in this case the m is not defined so we should the value of m we don't know because it could be any value. So that's why it is undefined because it's not defined by one number. So that's why zero over zero is also undefined. Now, let me show you uh, just a graph and we're gonna talk to some equations. Okay, let's suppose we have the equation of the line y equal 3x minus 5. We know that x is the independent variable and y is dependent. y depends on x. So if x is 1, for example, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 5 negative 2. Okay, so if x is 1, y is negative 2. If x is 4, 3 times 4 is 12 minus 5 is 7. So y depends on the x. What happened, for example, in this, let's suppose this is a two and we made this graph. This is the graph of the line y equals two. So the y is defined in two, but, and the slope of this line, it's equal to zero, okay? Because the equation is y equal mx plus b. So B is the two, M the slope is zero, zero times X is zero, okay? I cancel out all this term, and I have Y equal two, which is my B, okay? B is the Y intercept. Now, if we have X equal four, I go, uh, so one, two, three, four. Here in number four, I make a line, which is a vertical line, X equal four. In this case, the slope is undefined. M, the slope is undefined. Okay, because if we take a look at the independent, uh, sorry, at the dependent variable, which is the Y, I don't know what is the value of Y, because Y could be any value. So here, Y is two, here, Y is one, here, Y is negative two, and so on. So we don't know exactly what is the value of y in this 
equation x equal 4. So, because we don't know what it is, it's not defined, that's what we call it undefined to the slope. Okay? Basically, we have that uh, when the zero is in the denominator, it's undefined. When the zero is in the numerator, the answer will be zero.